Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vivi Quebec. I am so thrilled. I have selected a color selection that I think is very close to the Pika colors. And um, yeah, let's see. Um, it, it's um, spring. I just saw a peacock the other day um, and I thought, I just need to try this off. I, I, I need to try it off. So I did make some colors, um, tests uh, on paper and even on plastic wrapping so that I could actually see how they turned out. And I think I hit it right the way that I wanted at least. Um, but before starting off, I'm just gonna prepare the canvas. As you can see, I'm taping it off just to make sure that my bottom edges, uh, or the bottom of the canvas actually, are nice and clean. Um, when it's all fully dried up, I can pull this tape off and they're nice and still white or whatever color your, <laughs> your canvas is. Um, yeah, um, these colors are just uh, that I selected some of the favorite ones I, and I really have many favorites I love, love the blue ones I like the green ones and I especially like the blue and green together as you've probably seen in some of the other videos that I've done uh, I like the greenish blue I enjoy that color um, and then these pearl uh, colors that uh, Amsterdam has made where I made some myself as well um, are just awesome they give that kind of effect and I'm based on the the test um, that I did um, this blue pearl is coming out very awesomely because when you add it it's just like it's looking white but when it starts drying up and you see the effects of it it's like oh god yeah just needed to use that one So as you can see, um, I do tape everything and go over the tape again and again to make sure that it's absolutely fully covered. Um, the canvases that I purchase are made in Denmark. They're high quality canvases and uh, they call box canvases actually. They have different names, but they're the height of them are four centimeters and I love them because then you don't need to put a frame around them and you can just hang them on the wall wherever in your living room uh, and I love to see the edges the, the, that they're not just plain white that you can actually see the colors that went over the canvas sides uh, um, instead of a sorry to say so a boring frame uh, but People can put a frame on uh, if they prefer that. So I also make sure that when I varnish my uh, canvases that the sides are varnished. I want to make sure that they are absolutely fully protected. As you can see, I add more tape. It's because my experience with myself is that when I uh, move around with the paintings if they're not fully dry. Um, I want to make sure that I do not by accident from my hands or the gloves that if they, it has any leftovers of paint that it doesn't get to the bottom of uh, the uh, canvas. I want to make sure it's absolutely totally clean and nice. So done the taping so now we're just gonna add some small pins and I know that the, these are just normal pins um, I know that you can buy bigger ones on the internet um, especially on eBay and Amazon I have not purchased them yet I'm still thinking about it but so far they are good the small ones that I use they're easily replaced if I do manage to destroy one of them when using a small hammer just to make sure that they are pinned totally down onto the canvas and not uh, dropping out when moving around with the canvas 
especially when I move it to the drying area uh, a few af hours after I actually made the painting. So, anyway, it's preferences. Um, I've, I, I started as many others using plastic cups, putting it on there. But then when you started moving around with the paintings, like, okay, the pl plastic cups were kind of uh, fixated or like glued with the paint and some of them didn't move around and it went off and it was a bit difficult. So it's easier with the pins. So I um, found these cheap ones at the local grocery store that just had them as an offer and I thought okay I, I can manage this and uh, if I do destroy one or two uh, as you can see when I use the hammer it's not a big deal easily replaced so so far I'm just sticking with this one and saving myself the the pain of waiting a long time before I can actually get it from either Amazon or eBay um, I see often when I do order something from those places that sometimes it takes a month before you actually get them. I, I, I'm like this, then my patience is really running out. When you order something on the internet, you just want to see them coming within the, uh, in a week, at least or a couple of days. Okay, so canvas done. Now we need to add the base paint, but before that I just want to share the colors. So we have the Thalo Green from Amsterdam. We have uh, the Permanent Green from Amsterdam. We have the Pearl Blue from Amsterdam. We have the Thalo Blue from Amsterdam and the Light Gold from Amsterdam. And you can see the color selection and where I do purchase it uh, in the description field below. So, white, base color, Amsterdam. Um, not going into details with that. Um, so it's only my base paint that is mixed with Floetrol. The remaining paints are just mixed with water. And the reason why I only mix Floetrol with my base paint is to save paint. That's the only reason. It's not to generate more cells because mixing Amsterdam paint with water will generate very nice cells if that's what you're looking for. And I do not use silicone either. Anyway, let's get to it and uh, start adding the base paint. So I did prepare all the base paint yesterday evening. This is how it is. Uh, you work full time all day. So after doing dinner, taking care of the dog, your husband, whatever needs to be done. I go to my studio in the basement and start preparing all the paints that I'm going to use the day after. And I also made some paint that I'm going to use together with my husband. He has challenged me. Hmm. Yeah. So we're going to do two paintings based on a color selection where I added something that he agreed to after I made some tests. And um, that's going to be interesting to see how that turns out because it's in the darker area of the selection. Those two paintings are actually going into our bedroom. Uh, we had two other posters actually in there. And we have a gorgeous abstract painting by, yeah, I with, do believe that he's French, a painter who lived in Denmark for many, many years, uh, who died in the early uh, 2004, I think it was, or 11, I can't remember. But anyway, um, so we're going to have something that matches that. And I will show that painting together with the video that me and my husband are gonna do so that's gonna be interesting anyway so i was doing all the paint preparation yesterday so it's probably containing a lot of bubbles but let me just uh, finish off uh, the base paint fixing the sides um, it's gonna take some time you can fast forward if you don't want to see it. Um, I'm just gonna 
Make sure that there is some entertainment with the music in the background while doing this. So torching a bit here, fussing a bit, <laughs> taking time to make sure that the canvas is fully covered. I just want to make sure that everything is perfect. I'm just like that. Um, sometimes when you torch it, you see, oh, there is an imperfection here. There's not enough color. Uh, it's easier to see afterwards on the camera than when when I look over the video before dropping it into the YouTube channel. Um, that Oh, I didn't see that. I should have seen that in the beginning, but yeah. Sometimes you try to fix it with uh, 
the um, as you can see here I tried to fix it but <laughs> I may have to apply some more so you can skip it over if you want to but um, that's part of the process um, and it's kind of a learning by doing anyway remember to hit the subscribe button and so that you can get notified when I add my next video I do it on a weekly basis normally uh, whenever time permits but I try to be very consistent here um, and if you have any questions or comments or preferences to some colors that I should try out and then please leave a comment there um, so nice to see other colors being used otherwise I'm just gonna pick them myself and see how that goes and turns out and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't okay let's get ready I haven't thought about the pattern I'm gonna make a V a kind of a half circle afterwards so here I am applying the thalo green I'm just gonna add a lot of it some extra here I also adore this color there's so many beautiful colors that it's so difficult sometimes when you look at them which one should I choose today I get my inspiration as I've also added and said sometimes uh, from walking with the dog uh, going into the garden and uh, this one is the uh, peacock that I got inspired with so the more permanent green I'm just gonna add a dash of it I don't want it to be too much in the painting but giving it some contrast then I'm gonna add the pearl blue and yes I am adding a lot of it because I really want to see that coming into the paint giving it some shimmer and some contrast then we're going to take the permanent blue before we apply the light gold at the end I really enjoy this permanent blue together with the permanent green so even when I did the testing of these color combinations, I, I thought I, I need to try this permanent blue with other colors. But for now, it's my peacock color selection here. So I'm adding a lot of light gold as well as the last, last top layer. And then we just need to torch it. To remove the few bubbles that we have here and then I always start getting nervous when I had to blow it out so I'm gonna start on the low end with the hair blower and see how that works out And if it doesn't work with the low setting, I'm gonna put it on high setting. Let's just try it out here. Starting from the top and going downwards towards me. That's the plan. And then go from there. Actually promised my husband to see if I could make a painting that had less negative space. So the low didn't work so we're going for the high speed here oh my god yes so my husband asked me or actually put a question out there why we leave so much negative space and i actually love it the way that it turns out that you do have some negative space so that you focus on the colors here that it's otherwise i could just do a dirty pour um, I just love how it turns out. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Look at the gold there. 
Oh my god. Doing the last one. It, it goes too fast, actually. When you do this, there is so much work in the preparation here. I'm repeating myself. <laughs> doing the paints and doing the canvas preparation with the base color. And when you start doing the blowout, <laughs> oh my god, it's just so awesome. I'm not going to change much here. I'm just going to just correct this one. I'm not going to blow anything. And uh, I see something on the other side that I just need to take away. You probably can't see it. But on the opposite side, there is a bit of a blue that got blown out there. And I just wanted to take that away. But besides that, oh, it's so gorgeous. There are some bubbles that I just need to take care of. I'm just going to torch very lightly, but besides that, I'm not going to torch it. I'm not going to touch it at all. This turned out just as I imagined it too. I love it. <clears throat> I really love this. It is beautiful. I really look forward to seeing this when it's dried up. I will share a picture of it when it's dried up and that it had a piece of varnish as well. Gee, it went too fast. I need to make another one. I need to make a smaller one. And maybe like a peacock feather if that is possible for some... I have some thoughts about that, how I could do that. Kind of if you could see the pika from behind and when you see these beautiful beautiful colors i don't know i I'm, I'm having something in my head i will probably do it in my next video not sure yet i need to think about this but i'm definitely going to make one more piece maybe a smaller piece a 40 by 40 centimeter canvas i'm not sure i need to plan that but this is beautiful I'm just going to fix my sides here and then we will have a close up. My God, I am so happy with this piece. I am happy, happy, happy. If you're interested in this piece, then leave a comment or send me an email and we can get in touch that way. Let me just get the sides fixed and then we'll go for a close up. Done with the sides, on for the close-up. Look at this, oh my God. It really turned out just the way that I had in my thoughts. And unfortunately you cannot see on the camera uh, the real colors here. It's just so fantastic. The pearl blue, you're not able to see it on the camera, but when I look at it off camera, it's yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm lost for words at this point. But when it's dried up and it has a, uh, a varnish, I will show it to you uh, in daylight settings. And it's uh, so fantastic. And remember, some of the colors, or oh, the colors will try, dry up more dark. Oh, guys, ladies. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon back on my channel. In the meantime, take care. Bye.